Okay, here we have this device that we're going to be able to recover in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial we're going to use a totally different method than the previous one. We're going to use a, uh, but before that, we're going to take a tour of the device so you can see that it's completely locked since it has a screen lock. It also has a forgotten Gmail account. Uh, this method is completely without a PC. If you want to solve this problem with this device, we recommend watching the video tutorial step by step to the end to be able to solve it. Well, we're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network and we're going to take a tour of the device so you can see that it's completely locked. Well, we're going to accept and continue. Now, we're going to wait until it takes us where our device is. Blocked since it has a screen lock that we had. Forgotten and we have reset it and we are also left with the forgotten Gmail account. Now we are going to click here where it says do not copy, we are going to select that option. Then it would take us here to this section uh. Here in this section. And as you can see our device is completely blocked with the Gmail account. What are we going to do? In this video tutorial we are going to use what is a and OTG. In this video tutorial we are going to use what is an OTG to be able to do this process. But before that we are going to click here where it says Motorola, Policy and Privacy. We go to the last option option we click on it. We go down and we click here where it says Motorola, Com Support. This is where we are going to click. Now we are going to click here on this profile that appears here. We click here log in with Google. Then we click here where it says help. Help here we are going to write password. We ask for a password. We click here in the magnifying glass in search. Here we would see what this video is. We are going to click on it. Previously we would get three dots here to be able to enter from there. But that method is no longer working, so what are we going to do? As we had told you, we are going to use what is in. OTG, an OTG cable and we are going to use what is a keyboard. This PC keyboard. We are going to use what is a PC keyboard and an OTG. We are going to connect the keyboard to the OTG. We are going to connect it and you can see what we are going to do. We are going to use what is a block SIM card with a pin code for. Those people who do not know how to block a SIM card with a pin code. We will be leaving a method in the description of the video or in the comments. We are going to enter that blocked SIM card. We are going to enter the blocked SIM card with PIN code. Ready. Now that we have connected the OTG with the keyboard. We are going to enter it. We are going to enter the OTG. It is entered there. Now what are we going to do? We are going to write here 911 emergency call. Sorry, we're going to emergency call and we're going to write the emergency number according to our country. We hit call here is the enter key. We're going to click the enter key. We already clicked it. Now we're going to remove the SIM car we're going to press back once. Nothing we're going to do it again, we're going to enter again produce the SIM car. Emergency call we dial the number we're going to press. Enter we're going. To dial.
we're going to dial again. We're going to remove the SIM card to see. Now we're going to exit from here. We go here, we try again. Emergency call. We go back, we press dial the arrow. Let's see. Let's withdraw to see if this time, it was successful. We'll do it until it gives us the option to enter. Which it won't give the option, we'll enter 112. This time it was successful, I think this time it was with this number to withdraw. This time it was to hold. Here. Turn off, now we can withdraw here, we're going to withdraw. And that's it, we click lightly, it hasn't worked. We try again. To make it work emergency 112. Enter, it seems that it entered, but we're going to try it again. Let's see. To withdraw. We turn off, we turn on, we get a click. Nothing, we're going to try again. We're going to add another one without a face, add another additional one without a face and we do it again. Do it with two. Emergency. Enter. We're going to click to the side to see, we click here. We go up again, you're leaving us, we do it again. We're going to go back again, we click. Hit enter. Let's see if we're going to remove a SIN car since it's calling it's calling. Emergency so we're going to put both this one. Click. It we hit enter. Let's see. Let's hold here, turn off, turn on, hold. Click back to see if it was. Well, we're going to click here where it says skip, we click on skip. Now here we're going to click on our location. We're going to say click on the first option. We click on OK. Here it would take us to this section. What we're going to select is any store that appears here. Ah, sorry, no, sorry, we're not going to do that. 
We're going to click here on this little ball that appears here. We're going to click on it. We're going to click here where it says configuration. Then we're going to click here where it says Google location configuration there. Now we're going to click here where it says all. Here we're going to click where it says show system. Here we're going to enable Google services. We're going to disable it. It seems that it leaves us. Well, it's leaving us here. What we're going to do here, then we're going to write. We're going to write apps. We write battery. Battery here. Battery usage of the apps here we are going to select that one. We are going to click here where it says battery usage of the apps. We are going to go up and we are going to look for the Google services here. That before disabling the application what we are going to do is the following. We are going to click on the magnifying glass. We are going to click here the magnifying glass here we are going to write accessibility. We write accessibility it will go to here we are going to look for the accessibility menu. We click on enable, we enable it. Since we have enabled it, we are going to leave it like that, we are going to go back. Back and back and this is where we are going. To disable the application now. Now we are going to disable the application, we are. Going to click here on disable, the application will return to us, it will appear to us. That we enable the Google services. Well, now yes we are going to wait for our device. To restart and then give it the following configurations. This is not over yet, this is not over yet. If you want to recover your device we recommend you watch the video. Tutorial step by step until the end since our device when. We recover it by complete our phone goes away we get an error. We get an error and how to correct those errors. I will be explaining them to you at the end of the video. Well uh, when our phone starts we are going to do the following. Since we need, well we are going to wait for it to start. We are going to click here, we select our Wi-Fi network, we are going to wait. We click accept and continue, here we are going to wait until it gives us the next option, we are going to wait a few seconds. An option will appear here where we are going to click where it says do not copy and then we will get the option that we are waiting for it to appear here for a moment looking for updates. We are going to pause the video for a moment since in some cases it always takes a while. Well here it came out, we are going to click here where it says do not copy. We click where it says do not copy here it says here is this is what we are looking for. Let's say that in your case it suddenly turned around, it turned around and did not reach this step. Well do not worry, what you are going to do then go back. Back and here we are going to use the three dots and here we are going to select the following EH. We're going to select this option that says accessibility, accessibility settings here. Then here in the magnifying glass we're going to write battery bomb. We're going to delete, here we're going to give battery usage of the applications. We click here on this option and now what we're going to do is search for Google services and we're going to enable it. We're going to enable this option, but as we had said, our phone is left with some errors. How we're going to correct those errors, we're going to explain to you here not having any SIM card. The zinc must be removed as we have it. Then we're going to click here where it says continue offline. We click accept, we're going to wait, we click more more, accept. We click here on skip, we're going to click on skip, we tell it not now, not now. Not now and we click on next, we click here on finish, we. Click on finish, after we've finished everything. 
This is the error that I want to tell you about, we're going to turn off, now we're going to move it. It doesn't work, but down it does work. Yes you see, up it doesn't work, down it does. We're going to look for this option that says system. Then here on reset, we click here on reset everything to factory settings. We delete everything and when our device restarts all we have to do is configure it. And that's it, that would be all.